Oh, I just love glassware. Hey everyone, in a previous video I showed uh, the first half of this uh, caffeine extraction experiment uh, where I used supercritical carbon dioxide to extract caffeine from uh, green coffee beans. And at the end of the video I said that I used uh, methylene chloride to extract the caffeine from that um, sort of caffeinated water that I pulled out of the supercritical chamber. So here we have the caffeine that I just extracted today. This is from coffee, which I'll get into in a minute, and this is the batch from last time, from the, from the green coffee beans. So as you can see, there's quite a bit uh, more impurities in the batch I made today. Uh, so let me show you the process and explain why it looks like that. So I started with uh, about 50 grams of, of ground coffee. Uh, this is a medium roast Colombian there and just ground it pretty much about as coarse as I would do for drip coffee, maybe a little bit finer, uh, but not as fine as espresso grind, so it's kind of mid-range. And I loaded the coffee uh, into a uh, vacuum filtration setup, and I used 11 micron filter paper, and sprayed a little bit of just water down first, just to keep the filter paper down, pulled down onto the uh, Bilkner funnel and uh, applied vacuum. I used the vacuum pump from my electron microscope, a uh, good dual use there. It's a uh, Welsh 1400 rotary pump and started pumping the system down and I, what I would do is I'd boil some extra water and then poured the water over the top of the coffee grounds to help wash more and more caffeine off of them. Uh, so my separatory funnel can hold uh, 250 milliliters so my goal is to get you know about 200 milliliters of water through there and you can search around on the net for your own references on how much uh, caffeine will actually dissolve into water based on temperature. It's kind of hard to find a graph. So I used almost boiling water to, you know, 80 degrees C or 90 degrees C water uh, to pour through the coffee grounds to try to extract as much caffeine as possible. So what I ended up with is 200 milliliters of a very, very strong coffee. This, uh, I actually didn't taste this, unfortunately. I didn't even think of it. I was kind of distracted with other stuff. But um, I'm sure that would be the strongest, even stronger than espresso coffee there. 50 grams of coffee into just 200 mils of water. So it should be possible to boil all that water away and be left with uh, caffeine crystals in the bottom of the flask. Uh, but typically people don't do this, one, because it would take a long time to boil away all the water. And also when the water boils away, I think you're left with sort of a tarry substance, kind of a a very sticky goo. The caffeine crystals don't form very well uh, when they're boiled out of water, I think. This is, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, guessing a little bit here. So the accepted method of doing this is to mix the caffeinated water, the aqueous solution, with a hydrocarbon solvent. And one popular solvent is methylene chloride. So this is the active ingredient in paint stripper, uh, aggressive paint strippers, you know, old-fashioned paint strippers. And it's also the ingredient in uh, acrylic cement. So I may do a future video on how to extract methylene chloride from the acrylic cement. It's al you can almost use it as is. It's almost pure methylene chloride. It's like 70, between 70 and 90 percent. And the remainder is trichloroethane and uh, a uh, methacrylate monomer. Uh, a very, they're all volatiles, so you can separate it out. And I'm pretty sure methylene chloride is the lowest boiling uh, solvent in there, so it should be fairly easy to extract, but I'll, I'll do a future video on that if people are interested. So the idea is to add some methylene chloride to the separatory funnel along with the aqueous solution of caffeine, and by mixing it around a bit, all of the caffeine will be transferred into the methylene chloride because it has a much higher uh, affinity for dissolving caffeine. And then, uh, by emptying the separatory funnel carefully, you can extract the caffeinated methylene chloride. And when you boil away the methylene chloride, you're left with really nice crystals of, of caffeine. Now, there'll be some impurities, of course, because the coffee, uh, other substances in the coffee water are dissolved into the methylene chloride as well. So the way to fix that is to perform a sublimation purification. Uh, caffeine sublimates at about 170 degrees C, and so by pulling the chamber down with vacuum and placing a test tube in the top, uh, loaded with ice and then heating up the outside of the of the of the flask uh, the caffeine will sublimate off the walls of the flask and then re-solidify on the cold test tube that's in the middle 
So this is a really good way of purifying it. The impurities will stay in the flask and the caffeine in theory will be transferred to the test tube. So in my case there were definitely some impurities that were also transferred along with the caffeine that obviously had a, a lower sublimation point or a lower boiling point uh, than the caffeine. Uh, a little hard to quantize, but anyway I scraped the caffeine off of the test tube after letting it cool down and measured it and got about, about 260 milligrams, which is not a great yield. Out of 50 grams of coffee, that's probably on the order of, you know, between 5 and 10 cups of coffee there. And each cup of coffee should probably have 100 milligrams of caffeine, or at least that's the, the common knowledge or the common uh, numbers on the internet. So in theory, there should have been between 500 grams and, and a gram, or 500 milligrams and a gram of caffeine available. So I pulled out 264. Uh, you know, it's, it's not terrible, but I was kind of expecting a little bit more. Okay, well, I have some plans for this caffeine, which uh, will come up in a future video, uh, but let me know if you guys have any suggestions about that as well. Okay, see you next time. Bye.